So good morning everybody. Here we are Friday morning. I got caught in a rain shower. Can you believe that? Yeah, it uh, just was sunny one minute and then suddenly poof, the heavens opened. But it was refreshing after what we've been living through the last, last few days. So we're continuing to read through um, the, the King's accounts and uh, reading about uh, Jehoiada. That's how I pronounce his name, the, the priest who uh, brought up the king and then about how the king had abandoned the Lord and and everything went bad. Um, the place was, was really prosperous and doing well under Jehoiada. Uh, it was not under Jehoiada, but under the, the king that Jehoiada was, was counseling. Jehoiada lived 130. I don't know why, but every time I read that, I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. But he uh, was given a good number of years and uh, while he was the the high priest um, uh, the nation prospered uh, because his hand was was on the king and his his guidance was there for for the king so the king was was good but the king doesn't seem to have had a a real relationship with with Yahweh and soon as the uh, as soon as Jehoiada uh, dies he everything goes bad you know the leaders the leaders come in and uh, the leaders convince him to, to worship Baal. And, and it all goes bad after that. And um, it, it just shows we see again and again in, in the Bible, but also in history, that when a leader is good, it, is, it goes well for the country. When a leader is bad, uh, the, the, the country suffers. It, it just makes sense. Um, a good leader is concerned about their people and does what's necessary for trade and defense and uh, creating an atmosphere of prosperity. Whereas a bad leader is usually bad because they're focused on them on themselves uh, or on their party. Um, there's a lot to that. <laughs> You stop and think about it. But the one thing that, that really stood out for me in, in this, Jehoiada's um, son uh, warns him. He, he, he stands up and, and uh, he says, like, what are you guys doing? Like, like you're refusing to be prosperous by, by not following the law. And those who don't understand the law wouldn't understand what he was saying by that. Uh, it, he got killed for it. But he was speaking the truth because the, everybody thinks of the law. The law is there for a, a thing of control. But the law is there uh, because it's perfect. And it shows people how, how, to, how to be successful, how to have a successful country. Um, it, it's not a, a methodology. It's, it's about relationships. It puts, the law put um, the emphasis on honor, but an honor that comes from love. And everything in the law, in the law is about honor. It's about honoring God. It's about honoring each other. About honoring uh, uh, foreigners. It's it's about honoring um, creation around you. All the laws were built uh, all around that. How to honor, and and when you honor, when you honor one another, when you've got that honoring there, um, it 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 creates these relationships that allow for prosperity. There isn't the problem with jealousy and, and hatred and, and, and all the negative things that divide. Um, honoring unites people. And, and that's what we see in the law. And, and so when, when Jehoiada's son stands up and he says this, what, what are you doing? You're preventing, you're preventing prosperity. You're refusing prosperity by refusing the law. Um, and it's, it's nothing magical. It's... it's and, and so when Jesus came, he brought us into a, a, even a greater place than that. And yet we still have so many failures to get it. Uh, you know, the two, two greatest laws are some, some, that summed up. Uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. That's the, the honoring. And love your neighbor as yourself. Honoring. You honor yourself. You honor your neighbor. Um, everything that Jesus taught was based upon this and, and we need to get to the place if we can get to that place of understanding and honoring that that is the, the Father's heart is, is in that place then, then we will step into a, a greater place of, of prosperity but every time our eyes get off of that and we get put on ourselves 
uh, that's when it all starts falling apart. So you'll be blessed, be encouraged, have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.